okay, how to balance the budget? Well, first you have to find out why it's unbalanced. Here's why. Everybody has to borrow from the bank their chips. And from now on, I'm not going to talk about money. I'm going to talk about chips because talking money confuses, talking chips is easy. So everybody has to go borrow their chips from the bank, pledge their collateral, and then get in the game, then they got to go back with 11. So automatically there's shortage and the government just finds a way to spread the shortage around. Now, when the unions were broke and the government was broke in Argentina twice, uh, the union said, you're not going to lay anybody off. If you want to bring your bond to the bank, your million dollar bond to get bills, but they won't make the loan, we'll take a bunch of $10 bonds in our pay, as long as we can use them for hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses, HTML, it's because everybody will want them then. So that's what the government was forced to do. They were forced to pay all government employees with bond bucks. And guess what? They had enough bond bucks to hire everybody who wanted a job. And in five years, they paid off all their foreign debt. And it didn't make the news. So it's a controlled press. So that would save your parents. If we came up with a bond buck system at the provincial government, and that's the level we're running at right now. And if I don't get elected, they won't get bond bucks jobs, will they? So it was done in Russia during the Russian crash, 750 municipalities and states issued their own bond bucks and 25,000 corporations issued their own private rubles. McDonald's rubles, uh, Bell rubles, you know, uh, Monsanto rubles, Ford rubles, and everybody took them because they had no choice. There were no other rubles, but it worked and everybody saved the interest. In China, 800 million people on their Facebook started using these online QQ coins. Guess what? All these transactions, banks get no interest, which is why banks are crashing, but underground currencies are growing. Now, time is the thing that makes them all valuable, and if they could do that with their unions in Argentina, why couldn't our unions, instead of saying, give us money, say, give us bonds? At least that the government's got, right?